I wrote this story myself. It's a short story. It's called There's Something Wrong With This Land. There was once a man who bought a little plot of land to open a meat shop. He had a small farm with only a few animals, but that would soon grow over time. His house and family lived on a hill. Far off to the left was a massive forest. Far off to the right was the same, but down the middle led into town. They say one night he was so fed up with his wife that he murdered him. He, she, he murdered her and his kids while they were sleeping and turned them into meat products like ham or sausage links or hot dogs. And others will tell you that they ran off in the night to escape his abuse. When the town found out that his family vanished, it struck fear in some of the townspeople. But one day, the man came into town with a plate of his finest cooked meats to perfection. He did this just to change his view by those who were too dumb to believe the truth of why his family ran off. A few people tried it just to be brave and found out that it was delicious. They were just hot dogs and bratwurst and snake hearts and blood sausages. But after he ran out, he went down to his house and brought back his cooking equipment. He cooked honestly in front of everyone to prove he's a clean and that there are no tricks up his sleeve. When people asked where his family went, he told them they ran away to escape his alcohol abuse. But he's changed now, and he's just about making hot dogs and meat products. He'd even tell you you can call him Stan, the hot dog man. And that name went from a seed to a fruit-giving plant. But over time, of course. If I had to say, it was about a month. And that month, he cooked and prepared meat in front of everyone to amuse them and prove that he just had a bad past with alcohol. And although he lost his family, he's clean again, and he just likes to make hot dogs and sell them. He would even give some of his meat to the less fortunate for free. Eventually, everyone trusted him, and they would trust him so much that they'd even schedule him for birthday parties and events. One day, he was preparing a pig to kill, and he noticed people that trusted him were just happy to see him do the boring parts, like cut off the limbs and gut it. When he... Ah, my bad. He was shocked but happy, but he noticed that there were some children in the crowd. He explained that killing the animal might be a little bit too violent for them, and also he raised these animals from newborn and it was kind of a personal thing, but the crowd begged for him to go through every step so they could understand why his meat and how it's so good. Stan sighed and picked up one of the pigs, and he killed it. He prepared it by gutting it, but before he could dispose of the organs, he noticed the two buckets he would put them in were dirty. He couldn't tell the difference between them. One bucket was for scraps, and the other one was for cooking. He explained he needed to wash them out so he could tell the difference as to not ruin the meat, but someone in the crowd pointed out that the blood would make it even tastier. Stan had to continue. Stan gutted the animal and filled his bins with meat and then the other bin with animal waste. He asked the crowd to go ahead and get a head start back to his stand because he needed to lock up and carry the bucket slowly as to keep the blood brine balanced. The crowd followed the words, Stan's words, and left him behind. When Stan finally got up to his stand, he began cooking and serving hot dogs and blood sausages and bratwurst. A young girl was eating one of the sausages, and it was her loose tooth fell out. She was excited, but quickly confused on how a diamond ring ended up in her food, let alone knocking out her loose tooth. She showed her mom, and her mom was startled and made a big deal about it. But Stan replied with, There's my ring. I was looking for it. Huh. Must have gotten pulled off when I was getting out the pig. Everyone noticed it and just continued talking. Another man pointed out that he found a fingernail and half a pinky finger in his blood sausage. Everyone stopped talking and making noise and looked at Stan. Stan tried to apologize and explain, but his words fell to deaf ears. Stan tried to take off running back to his house, but the crowd followed. They burned his house down, and as his, burnt, and as his house burned down, they stared through the window, and he stared back at them with a deathly smile. And he laughed at them as the house burned down with him inside. The crowd waited for the fire to finally die, and they found Stan's body with a huge smile on his face. Although he couldn't move, he was surprisingly, he was alive. The crowd dragged his body and hung him in the middle of the town by some wiring. The next morning, there was a deep smile cut into his face ear to ear, and a note in his pocket. Someone got the note out of his pocket, and it was the true ingredients behind the tastiness of the meats. 
They were never snake hearts. They were infant hearts. And the meat was good because it was a mixture of not only different meats, but human. All right, that's the end of my story. Um, That's uh, kind of all I wrote. I'm sorry, I was fucking stoned when I wrote this. But anyways, hope you enjoyed my story. And um, I guess that's it. I don't expect you to subscribe or like my videos. My rule is do whatever the hell you please. It don't matter. But uh, thank you for listening to my words, you know, and all that. I will see you later.